Okay, so because um, this is a rather small, this is a 180 size quad, um, these particular motors have a very short cable coming off, motor uh, wires coming off. So I could solder them directly to the board because if you remember, these boards have um, little tabs on them that you could solder directly to. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to add little ends here so that these could plug into it so they could actually plug in. And uh, the reason for that is that if I cut these off and solder them to it, they're kind of right in there. Uh, the other advantage, uh, right in there, what I mean is that it's just too short. It it's doesn't allow me to much movement in assembly or taking apart the quad. Whereas these, I can take the motors off, pull this board off, I need to replace an ESC or anything like that. Now, these ESCs do have the advantage uh, in the fact that they, they come with a uh, program, an app that you can download. And uh, it allows you uh, to program them and to reverse the motor. So sometimes you know how you have to pull a single wire, two wires off and switch them to reverse the motor if it should be running backwards. These particular ones you can actually go into the program and reverse the ESC output uh, to reverse the motor. So again, it's exactly the same as it is before. Um, you want to tin up uh, all these tabs here. And uh, again, you know, fresh solder. I always want to use fresh solder. solder. Uh, so that it just goes rather quickly and it would go rather quickly if I could just stop it with the coffee in the morning so that I wasn't so shaky there we are so you can see all three of these tabs now are tinned and ready to go and of course these things are already tinned too uh, my tips so I just take and all I gotta do is just press down on it and uh, add some heat for a brief second and hold it till it solidifies, of course. Uh, that's the other important factor. And once it, once it solidifies on there, you're pretty much good to go. And as you can see, it all goes rather quickly. Um, really, it's just probably the longest time is just getting everything prepared. And I, and I prep some of the things ahead of time. But once you get going on it, they move along pretty quick. And attaching these to this is a relatively simple process when you're not talking at the same time or trying to carry on a conversation. So we'll get these last couple here. And as you can see, you know, even, even doing a demo and talking with you, um, this moves along relatively quickly and shouldn't take you much time at all so if you happen to and I think the hardest part the first time that you let me get a little bit of solder on this a little more solder on the end of this here there we are to help dissipate the heat a little bit better there we go and again I want the heat to dissipate rather quickly because I don't want it to heat up the board too much, especially ESC boards. So again, all six of these are on there. I already got these six on, so now I'm set to attach this board on there onto the um, actual base of the quadcopter. Now before I do that, uh, I'm going to take and I'm going to move this... Oh, see, I lost my old train of thought there, but I'm going to move my shrink tubing out a little bit. And use my heat gun here and heat the shrink tube down and give a nice little setup so that looks really good there. So that's pretty much it. That's that's all there is to it. Um, these are all set to go now easy enough for me to plug in uh, my motors once I got this board attached here I will probably use some double-sided tape to tape these guys down to make them a nice solid um, fit here before I attach this board onto my uh, base of the quadcopter onto this base here like this and uh, it'll be set to go so that's pretty much it on soldering to the ESCs. Now on other ESCs you may have to cut the, the shrink tubing off, 
pull off the wires that are on there, you know, desolder them, and then resolder on your wires. Uh, but again, just make sure you put the shrink tubing on beforehand so that you can slide it forward and get it on over the ESCs. So that's it on that.